It's time for Colorado Golf, the 2005 season in review. Next. Hi, I'm Aaron Kello, and I'll be your co-host for the CGA, CWGA, CJGA 2005 season in review. The season, as always, was a fabulous season with lots of great highlights. I'll also be joined today by Pete Liss. Good morning, Pete. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, great to be here. We're going to start off with the season opener, the CGA Net 4-Ball. It's a great event. Let's take a look. Shall we? You know, I should have won that. I won that in 99. I did. Yeah, with Kyle. But Kyle, he's a 22 handicap. He shot like 120. I mean, if it wasn't for Bob Medals, we would have finished dead last this year. Huh? Uh, let's, let's roll those highlights, shall we? Yeah. The 2005 season got underway with the CGA Net 4-Ball Championship at Lone Tree Golf Club. Michael Anderson and Dev Mahanti of Saddle Rock finished at 25 under par to take the title. And in the senior division, it was Charles Upton of Indian Tree and Bill Irwin of Breckenridge going 19 under to take the title. The CWGA season got underway on the same weekend with the Massey Championship at Red Hawk Ridge Golf Course. Mayumi Motoyama and Kelly Shaw, both of Raccoon Creek, defeated Cindy Palatino and Kim Eaton in the final match by a score of 2-1 and one to win their trophies. Meridian Golf Club hosted the CGA Senior Match Play Championship where Kelly Crone of Deer Creek at Meadow Ranch had his swing going. He defeated John Olive, a four-time champion, two up in the final match to take the title, and Kelly became only the eighth player to win both the Senior Match and Senior Stroke Play Championships. Your winner in the Super Senior Division was Mark Barlow of Lakota Canyon. The CGA Two-Man Team Championship traveled to Pine Creek Golf Club, where Pepperdine's Michael Baird and CU freshman Derek Tolan teamed up to take the championship. In the senior division, it was Jerry Kidney and Grant Maples Jr. taking home the hardware. Weather problems at the mixed Stableford team and a close finish at the public links when Colorado Golf 2005 season returns. Are you tired of second plays? Are you tired of facing shots like these when you're two down? Well, you need the Wilsonator 3000. Why risk blowing it on 18? With the Wilsonator 3000, you eliminate the opposition on the first tee. Designed by CGA Director of Rules and Competitions Warren Wilson, the Wilsonator 3000 is USGA approved. It comes with a no-scuff cover for no incriminating marks, added weight for impact, and our patented easy slip grip. The Wilsonator 3000 is easy to use. Simply make sure that grip is ready to go. Place your opponent in the right place on the tee. And let her fly. The Wilsonator 3000 takes your opponent right out of the competition. And you win. In the words of Warren Wilson himself, Lower half of the knee, hard enough to worry, ain't going to get up. So be sure to order your Wilsonator 3000 today. It's not available in stores, but simply call 1-800-WW2-3000 and have your credit card ready. Let's get back right where we left off. The event, the CWGA Mix Stableford. The place, Grand Elk Golf Club, and the date, June 4th, and it wasn't pretty. A major storm system arrived at the Grand Elk Golf Course the same time the CWGA Mixed Table for Team Championship did. On the first day, it was rain and 40 degree weather and wind, but the players struggled through it, and the sun came out the second day along with Lori Steenrod and David Smith, who successfully defended their title by four points. In the senior division, it was Kerry Kaltenbacher and Kathleen Cox defending their title as well. 
Fox Acres Country Club hosted the CGA Father-Son Championship, where Gary and Alex Kephart of Eisenhower Golf Club won by a convincing eight strokes. The CGA Public Links Championship at Indian Peaks Golf Course came down to the wire. Zen Brown of Indian Tree, now a freshman at CSU, came to the 18th hole tied with Derek Tolan of CU. Brown was able to get up and down for par, and when Tolan missed his par putt, Brown became the champion by one stroke. Desert Hawk at Pueblo West hosted the CWGA Junior Match Play Championship. Kaylee Kempton of Englewood Golf Course had to go 19 holes to defeat Becca Huffer and claim the trophy. Who's in charge of coffee around here? I mean, come on, I'm the talent. Pete, do you mind? Go downstairs, give me a cup. Thanks, man. Um, you're on. Next on the event list was the CGA Junior Match Play Championship, and it featured a great match between Tyler Parslow and Gunnar Weedy. Indian Tree Golf Course hosted the CGA Junior Match Play Championship, where Tyler Parslow of the Meadows Golf Course faced Cherry Hill's own Gunner Weeby. Weeby had the early lead but couldn't hold on, and it was Parslow that came through down the stretch earning the 2 and one victory. The CWGA Stroke Play Championship took place at the Ranch Country Club. Lindsay Holwick of Columbine Country Club shot a 68, the low round of the tournament, in the second round to take a six-stroke lead into the final round. She held on to that lead to win by six strokes and take the trophy. The 105th CGA State Match Play Championship took place at Bear Creek Golf Club. It was a battle of the Buffaloes. CU's Pat Grady of On the Interlochen squared off against CU's Derek Tolan of South Suburban Family Sports Center. 36 holes just wasn't enough to determine this one. Grady birdied the second extra hole to win the championship in 38 holes. Spring Valley Golf Club hosted the CWGA Junior Stroke Play Championship. It was Becca Huffer of Overland Golf Course dominating the field with an eight-stroke wire-to-wire victory. Congratulations. That was a great win for you. Hey, Pete, what was next on the schedule? <coughs> there were thrills and chills at Aurora Hills at the CGA Junior Stroke Play. Word. Actually, no one was chilling in the 100-plus degree temperatures at Aurora Hills for this one. Riley Andrews of the Lynx Golf Course proved he could stand the heat, and he finished with a 16-under par total to win the championship. T.R. Arado Golf Course hosted the CGA Western Chapter Championship. It was Bill Fowler of Rolling Hills Country Club earning the one-stroke victory, and Bill Boyd of Highland Hills captured the senior division title. Murphy Creek Golf Course hosted the CWGA State Match Play Championship, where Becca Huffer of Overland Golf Course took control. In the final 36-hole match, Becca defeated Kelly Gillum 6-5 and five to take the title. Winning in the inaugural senior division was Lynn Larson of the Pinery Country Club. She defeated Lynn Smistowski, one up in the final match. The next event on the list was the CGA State Amateur Stroke Play Championship at Glenmore Country Club. Let's go back in time and take a look at our coverage of that event, joined by our own Pete List. We have uh, that uh, 18-footer left for John. Uh, he'd like to close here with that eagle. He sure would. He's uh, got the uh, tournament in his hip pocket, as they say, but i uh, sure like to finish with an eagle here. Shouldn't break much. Got to read off of Derek's. Oh, it did turn on him just a little bit. Must have caught a ridge or pulled it a little bit. And it's a birdie finish here for John Hayes, our 2005 CGA State Amateur Stroke Play Champion at 14 under from Columbine Country Club. What a great tournament for John Hyer. Oh, what a great tournament. And uh, remember, he was the U.S. Open alternate this year, and uh, we expect lots of great things. And as we look at the final leaderboard, it's time to wrap up our coverage of the 2005 CGA State Amateur Stroke Play Championship from Glenmore Country Club. Congratulations again, John. You gave the spectators a great show. Moving on to other events, the CGA and CWGA are involved and support other high-profile events throughout Colorado, including the International and the Colorado Open Championships. Let's take a look at some of those highlights. The International at Castle Pines Golf Club celebrated its 20th birthday in style. Two-time U.S. Open champion Ratif Goosen earned the big paycheck, but he had to hold off Colorado Golf Hall of Famer Brant Job to do it. 
the Colorado Open Championships hosted at Green Valley Ranch Golf Course had another tremendous year. Starting with the Colorado Women's Open, it was former CU player Aaron Kerr that took home the hardware, and Washington's Paige McKenzie earned low amateur honors. Will Collins of Rapid City, South Dakota took the Colorado Open in convincing fashion, while DU's Charlie Sewell earned the low amateur honors. And in the Colorado Senior Open, it was Pueblo's Mike Zaremba cashing the big paycheck, while John Olive was very happy with his low amateur finish. Stay tuned, there's lots more to come, including both Senior Stroke Play Championships and Club Team Championships, with a few surprises mixed in, when Colorado Golf 2005 season returns. Is your anger getting the better of you on the golf course? Has your volcanic temper scared away your regular foursome? Has your total lack of control resulted in your disqualification from state championships for a serious violation of the Association Code of Conduct Policy? Well, now there's help. With chip -Tour, say goodbye to those violent outbursts, kiss your temper goodbye, and start enjoying golf again. With chip -Tour, you'll not only enjoy golf again, your friends will enjoy playing with you again. Pete used to be so angry on the golf course, we actually called him Angry Pete. But now thanks to chip -Tour, we love playing with Pete. Sarah used to be so serious, we would call her Psycho Sarah. Sure, she won the club championship seven times in a row. She's a lot more fun to play with now. Side effects of chipature may include yips, shanks, skulls, tops, whiffs, chili dips, and complete lack of touch around the greens. Chipature should not be taken with alcohol and should never be used the night before a state championship, USGA sectional qualifying, state open, or other serious golf competition. Consult your PGA professional today to see if a prescription is right for you. Chipature. Because golf was meant to be fun. And remember... There's Chipotour Junior, available in chewable fruit-flavored chiplet tablets for children 10 and under. Thank you for that great word from our sponsors. I love Chipotour. I use it all the time. Next on the event list was the CWGA Senior Stroke Play Championship. Shadow Hills was the host. Let's take a look. The CWGA Senior Stroke Play Championship took place at Shadow Hills Golf Club. First-time participant Cindy Brynarski of Dalton Ranch Golf Club won by a narrow one-stroke margin over Mary Lou Grooms of Willis Case. By nearly winning the entire event, Mary Lou Grooms easily took the Super Senior Division title. Grand Doty Peaks hosted the CGA Four Ball Championship, and it was high fives all around for Dean Clapp and Jim Deutsch, who dominated the field by ten strokes. In the senior division, Jim Pierce and Robert Polk won on the fourth playoff hole over John Olive and Ronald Knapp. Robert Polk of the Pinery continued his outstanding play at the CGA Senior Stroke Play Championship at Highland Ranch Golf Club. Polk won the title and was the only one to finish under par. And it was John Olive of the Broadmoor taking the Super Senior Division title. The CWGA Brassy Championship traveled to Grand Lake Golf Course where the team of CWGA Executive Director Robin L. Barterwell and Kelly Schaub of Raccoon Creek successfully defended their Brassy title by a narrow one-stroke margin. The CGA Mid-Amateur Championship traveled to Haymaker Golf Course where Steve Irwin of Lakewood Country Club earned his second CGA Mid-Amateur title in three years by an impressive seven strokes. Pole Creek Golf Club hosted the CWGA Mixed Team Championship where Lori Steenrod of Saddle Rock and David Smith of Englewood teamed up to defend their title by eight strokes. Tangi and Brad Buchanan of Columbine Country Club won the Super Senior Division in a playoff against Buck and Sharon Wiles. Vista Ridge Golf Course hosted the CGA Club Team Championship, where the team of Rolling Hills Country Club featuring Mick Mayotte, individual scoring leader Sean Forey, and Bill Fowler took the team title by eight strokes. 
The CWGA Club Team Championship traveled to Kissing Camels Club, where the Overland team, represented by Marla Straw, Cheryl Shadel, Denise Garcia, and Norma Bisdorf, teamed up to win the championship in a three-way playoff. The season ended with the CJGA Tournament of Champions at the Broadmoor Golf Club. Tyler Parslow of the Meadows Golf Club took the boys' division, while Becca Hopper of Overland Park took the girls' division. Thank you again for joining us for the 2005 Season in Review. Congratulations go out to all of our champions again this year. We look forward to seeing you next year at the 2006 Award Brunch. For Aaron Kello, I'm Pete Liss. Hit them long and straight. Good day, good night.